Your morning matters. What's the first thing you do when you get up in the morning? Do you check your phone? Do you like start swiping? Do you start to look at the news or start to complain about what's going on in the world? Or do you actually sit there and actually consciously make a decision about how you want to start to feed your mind when it's at its most, one of its most fertile points of the day? Uh, I'd love to give you an, like share with you today what happened to me and give you an example and remind you that I'm just like you, just like everyone else, that I still have to fight these challenges. I still have to practice these habits. Uh, I still screw up myself. This morning I woke up, the first thing I did was on Instagram and I'm scrolling, scrolling, just watching all the negative news and it just instantly sent me downward. It sent me negatively thinking about uh, my situations not good enough or worrying about the past, all these stupid things that you don't wanna be programming your mind with when you, when you start out your day. So I came here in the gym, as you see, as you can see now, it's uh, the the wall is complete, which is uh, massive. Um, if, if you remember from some of my previous videos, I was talking about um, as you prioritize your day and your life, uh, referencing the book titled "The One Thing." Like, what's the one thing that, if you were to do such, makes everything else become easier or unnecessary? Uh, for me, getting this done was that one thing. But that's referencing another video. Um, what I want to point out is that I woke up thinking shitty. I was just like totally, I, I did it to myself. I got myself down in the dumps just by scrolling Instagram, like right away before it even like gotten out of the bed sheets. It was the worst. And I have been struggling to go to sleep without my phone in my room because I, my schedule is so off because of doing this, that I needed it for the alarm clock. Again, another story. So the point being is that like I'm scrolling Instagram, my mind just goes, I can't whistle right now. I got no water. Dry lips. My, not, my mind goes woo, down real fast. So I get up to the gym and the workout as part of the morning routine always helps me to get my mind back on track. But in particular, I say to myself, I'm like, I want to program my mind. I want to, I want to pay attention to something that's going to help me think differently. And so for me, uh, I went to YouTube to look up a Jim Rohn video and then a video by Joe Dispenza popped up. Um, on impact theory with Tom Bailu. And basically, I'll, because this is going to go on Instagram, Facebook, um, and YouTube, uh, I, I'll link it where I can, the video to Joe Dispenda. And to be honest with you, in some ways, it's just like every other motivational video, something to fire you up. But everything that Joe is talking about is to pay attention to how you think. What are your habits? What's that morning routine look like for you? Because as you choose these different pieces of information to consume, they're going to start to program your mind. You're going to start to condition yourself mentally and emotionally to think a certain way. And if you find yourself, even if it's the wrong emotions that you're constantly referencing, what will begin to happen is that you'll choose to pursue those negative emotions because they're so familiar it's certainty for you. You'll choose the negativity because at least you know exactly what you're going to get. And where most people are, are most, where most people fear is living in the unknown and taking time to craft your thoughts, to create a new reality out of your imagination, your ideas, your desires takes spending time in the unknown, it takes time thinking about something that you're not familiar with, which is why most people don't do it. Why we want to like retreat and go do something else that we are familiar with. So I, I'm going to wrap this one up here. Uh, I'm actually dying of water right now. I just can't even, I'm just so dying here. Um, the point being is that your morning is extremely important. I still will have my days where I screwed up and I'm not on track and routine, but that's okay. Like be, part of being resilient, part of having the hero mindset I talk about, accepting responsibility one step at a time and never giving up is, is that you're gonna fall off track and you're not gonna be perfect, but accept responsibility. I'm responsible for this, the situation, my mindset, how I, what I choose to do about it. What's the next step? Well, the next step for me was not just continuing to consume, but at least get out here and start to do something. And then um, accept responsibility one step at a time, never give up, persistence. You know, what can you continually try to do to program your mind to just do whatever it is that you need to do? Keep trying, don't quit. Just keep moving forward, keep giving a shot, um, pay attention to your morning's 
own your morning and uh, own your life, own your mind, own the day. All right? Kevin Rempel, peace out. See you soon.